Then, Della, your, uh, your special announcement just uh, deeply affected me because it, it's so in line with what, uh, so in line with the message that I believe that the Lord has laid on our hearts. And Andy Stanley wrote a book recently, and he was talking about the whole body of Christ, and he said this, we need to one another, one another better. We need to one another, one another better. And if, and if you don't want to one another, one another better, you don't belong in the church. There's a redeemer, and there's an accuser of the brethren. Revelation 12, 10, the accuser of the brethren gets hurled out of the kingdom of God. This is point three in my message. And my question is, whose side are you on? Do you want to be on the Redeemer's side? Or do you want to be on the accuser of the brethren's side? Mendel, thank you so much for bringing that special word. Amen. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Now, you have prayer cards in your pews? Please take the time uh, to fill that out. They'll be prayed for in Mass this morning individually. Uh, in our prayer meeting on, at 11, uh, my wife and I, Gwen and I, will be going away to the Bishop's Convocation. Three days of intensive teaching. <coughs> and, uh, and a wonderful time with the Bishop, but it will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday there. Uh, it's what the Bishop does before he begins the appointment season. Uh, this year the theme is the Anatomy of Peace book that's been written by the Arbinger Institute. And again, the theme is peace. Help us, Jesus. All the preachers will be gathered. Uh, also, this is probably more in the announcements, but uh, Stacy, you're way in the back there, right? Stacy? Stacy has opened a new salon called Paige Reese, her daughter's names, right up at Chestnut Hill, a brand new uh, beauty salon. And uh, it's just so exciting. It's just right up the, you know, it's probably like the second nicest thing on this side of 130. <laughs> <laughs> hey, amen. And we're just so excited. Uh, years ago it was Salon Santa Fe, right? Now that, that's history. Now it, it's uh, brand new and you just, it, your grand opening was or? About three weeks ago. About three weeks ago. Amen. And every week I've wanted to say something. But we just congratulate you on your new business. Uh, and our two daughters, Paige and Reese, it's easy to remember it all. Amen. Amen. Help us, Jesus. Uh, there's something else. Okay. Yeah, prayer time. Uh, Pat Peach went into the hospital last night. Great news. She's been just having... Uh, some things that they, they think they've got an answer to and a medication for. So she's going to be there a couple of days, and we're just, uh, just continue to pray for uh, Pat and Joe. Uh, Bill Smith continues uh, in, his, uh, uh, in his treatments and is doing well. Joan shared with me some good news this morning. Also, Rosalie will be having a pacemaker put in on Tuesday, and hopefully it'll be a same-day procedure. And then after that, on Tuesday, then two weeks, assuming everything goes well, they're going to be doing another procedure. We need to keep Rosalie in our, uh, in our thoughts and in our prayers. Anything else, anybody really just need that? Also, a dear, a dear friend, Anna, uh, uh, is undergoing treatment for... Uh, for lung cancer, we need to keep Anna in our thoughts and prayers. Anybody else need, need a quick shout? Ken Harris. Ken Harris continues in, yes, amen, continues in rehab. Amen. Hey, God is with us this morning. We've got a great word this morning. We've got a 3,000-year-old story that, uh, with a happy ending that is to inform us. You know, one time an, an older preacher, you know, said to me, you know, when you get in a pulpit, you can't hit a home run every time, you know, you, you know, and it's just, there's not a lot of razzle-dazzle today, but I just hope to get on base, 
I hope to get you on base so that you can score runs for the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Amen.
We pray for our Bishop John Scholl, his wife Beverly. We pray for again for this upcoming Bishop's Convocation. And for the teaching may be received. We ask this in your name. We pray for healing of body, of mind, of spirit, and of relationship. We pray your special blessing, a special blessing upon those on our prayer list and all whose names have been mentioned out loud this morning, as well as all those whose names are on our prayer card. We pray that you continue to use this church. Lord, just draw people, draw people to you, even to this church, Lord. We ask, we ask this in your name. And Lord, I'm just going to be quiet. And in the silence, Lord, we, we call upon you in our, from our deepest needs in our hearts. We ask this in your name. God, when we're doing what you're calling us to do, may we do it in your strength and in your love. And Lord, I'm thinking again of 1 Samuel 18, 14. David was successful in all his undertakings, for you were with him. Put another way, David was wise in all his undertakings, for you were with him. Lord, we ask for your strength, your wisdom, and your love, that we may be a part of the greatest story ever told. We pray that you would use us and bless us in ways beyond which we could ask or imagine. We need you. And as you have taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Lead us and guide us, Lord. Help us to pay attention to you. It's in your name.